Hello, how is everybody doing? It is time to do the last two supercharged path guides. We'll do Dark Stealth Elf right now, then do Dark Spitfire tomorrow. If you haven't checked it out, go check out the path guide for Spotlight put up yesterday. I'm not going to rehash Silent, but the path guide I did for regular stealth up. I will tell you what path she is on. She is on the top path. We're going to go ahead and do the bottom path. Compare them. Then I'll tell you which one I think I like better. We'll see. At first, I thought I would prefer this top path. But we'll see. The problem with the top path, path is this. I'll show you this right really quick. The cannon doesn't aim. And the bottom path corrects that problem. Let's get right into it. I'm also not going to go in depth into the base upgrades. I'll put the link for the top path guide in the description below. You are more than welcome to check that out and check out Hello, more in detail about again. So her base upgrades. I'm just going to go over them really quick, buy them, and, and that'll be it. Press triangle to perform an acrobatic spin that hits knocks back enemies. I will show you really quick, but beyond that, there it is. It does look Are you ready for a new magical really, really cool. Upgrade? Give it that. Dagger can deals more damage. Typical base upgrade pass. When you least expect it. The turret now shoots enemies in front of it. It didn't before? What does that mean? So if an enemy's in front of me, will it... Will it... What's the word? Zero in on them or not? That's maybe what that means. Huh. Never knew. Gain increased movement speed for a short time after circle slash. So here we go. Like I said, we took care of this path. Now it's time to do stealth saboteur. Saboteur? Okay. Choose. All right, dog is barking, distracting me. On expiration, the turret explodes and damages nearby enemies. This bottom path really resembles the bottom path in every other stealth up we had before this, where the dummies spin and then they explode. It's kind of what <laughs> this upgrade mimics pretty closely. So that's not bad, 78? <laughs> Apparently I wasn't close enough. <laughs> it keeps getting the, uh, the critical number. I think I said 56. <laughs> Any place that, you go, that went by really quick. The, the turret now aims at nearby enemies and does more damage. This is the upgrade that makes this bottom path because it does what it says it's not just focused straight ahead because this isn't very helpful tell you the truth if it's shooting in one direction what about everyone back here now you don't have to worry about it because you got this upgrade? upgrades we're going to check it out up top really quick. I got time. You got time. We all got time. Now it should. See how it turns? And if you need to get out of a tight spot, that has to, it's very, very helpful. If that's how you play. You like to dodge and avoid. You can pretty much just do that over and over again. And she's not going to be touched. So this is why this path... Are you ready for a new magical upgrade? 
gets more and more intriguing. Circ Slash does more damage and knocks enemies further away. When you least expect it. So that's, what was it, 15-ish? Yeah, it was 15. Now it's 20 and 30. Let's knock back a few enemies up here really quick. Shouldn't seem nearly as fast as Stealth Arp usually is. What do you think? Wow. <laughs> that was way back. I'm completely out of the map. Shit. That works. Are you ready for a new magical upgrade? Soul gem time. After injury and defeating an enemy, a familiar face appears and brings a health bonus. Very helpful. Look. It's Whisper Elf. I really haven't used Stealth Up that much. I don't think I've even ever seen that. So it'll be interesting to use that. I don't think the dummies up here deal any damage. We'll find out very, very shortly. You do your training today. Beat me up. Hey. Okay, I don't do any damage. So. <laughs> That's impressive. Stick to the training. Pro but when you do get damage, Whisper Elf will, will apparently come back and help you out. So they're the pass. And it's very hard to choose which one. You can get much more damage from this path. And then the ricochet effect, you can hit multiple enemies, is really helpful. If you, the kind of guy, person, guy, or girl, that likes to hide, run away, and still have a great attack, you'll want this because it will hone in on the enemy and it explodes at the end. So two... I mean, that's very, this upgrade is very important if that's how you like to play. Which one I like better? It's very hard to say. Set this 28. It really depends on how much more damage the needles do. I almost have noodles. I'm going to check it out really quick. So 36. 36 compared to... 24, I believe? And you also get the effect of it hitting multiple enemies. Not just the initial enemies. So... So it's not, I mean, it's not different. It's that much different. 28 to 36 is not different at all, to tell you the truth. So that, it really isn't that important. I am going to say the bottom pass is better just for the fact that that turret moves and then explodes. They can kind of get out of it and go into a kick. So I will probably use Dark Stealth Elf more than regular Stealth Elf. What do you think? Which path? is better for you. I'm done. Adios.